Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a very simple keyframed transition that you see just now. Let's get started. So as you can see that I've already dropped a few videos, you know, onto my timeline and I've already do a little bit of speed ramping. Yeah, as you can see that there's a sudden slow motion it's to just to bring out the very dramatic effect. First, press Command and R to summon this bar over here and then you can just increase the speed so now the speed is very fast and you want to slow down suddenly you can just press R and select this portion and then go to this symbol over here and choose slow I suggest do not slow down too much if not it's going to be very choppy yeah something like that yeah, you can see that water is flowing very rapidly and then suddenly freezed and slowed down. It's very simple. I have no idea why, but this video seems to be very problematic. So I'm just going to unuse it to avoid distraction first. So, so first, where you need to go is go to this titles and generators tab. And ignore the titles and just go straight to the generators and then find custom yep this one and drag it onto the timeline something like that and just slightly over the first video and as you can see that there are markings over here that's the uh, the transition the, the actual transition that i want it to happen i suggest that you create a few markers before starting your editing at all as you can see, this custom block of blackness just, just obstructs everything. Do not worry, you go to the effects tab and type shape mask. And drag the shape mask onto the custom block. And then go to the inspector over here. Click invert mask. And you can adjust accordingly. I'm going to choose a circle-ish shape, something like that. It's not very, very circular, but yeah, you get the gist of it. What you need to do next is go to transform and scale. So basically what I need you guys to do is go back to the starting of this uh, custom block and create a keyframe, a transformation position, and scale. Yep, as you can see. And then you need to enlarge the scale to like this. And bring the cursor over here to the starting of the video and drag it to the moment where you want to create a dramatic transition effect. So I think here is the moment and I'm going to create a keyframe over here and position, scale and position and just a few seconds later I'm going to bring down the scale as well as the keyframe something like that and a few seconds later I'm going to create another keyframe at scale and position and go to the end of the first clip and just bring down the scale to the minimum which is 0% and let's see the result yep something like that okay after re-listening to the background music and all the transition sounds and stuff and where and re-decide where the transition should take place I have already changed the timing of the transition to be a really really short one so yep it looks something like that it brings up the best overall dramatic effect and yep it's very simple you just drag along this you know these dots and it's going to change on the whole duration of the transition and yep and then for the next step please drag another custom block 
and put it below this block so when it disappears it disappears to this black uh, sort of like a background effects column drag the shape mask over here and then obviously I need to invert the mask and need to transform all these small bits here and there and make it a circular shape something like this yep so as usual I'm gonna go back to the beginning which is this place create a keyframe here I'm gonna drag the scale to 1% because you know there's already a black transition over here so I don't need it to be completely zero yep something like that is fine if you don't really like this you can just cut away this block and then un unuse the shape mask yep something like that and then go to uh, around here and then increase the scale to around this percentage and maybe around here I'm gonna create another keyframe a scale and, and maybe here I'm gonna enlarge totally to 400% and let's see something like that what you can do is just to copy the first transition and paste it onto the next one and right click show video animation and you can readjust the position <laughs> of the transition we want it to be very simple so I think <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be something like that. Yep, uh, yeah, yeah, as you can see, it's not in the same place. So, yep, something like that. And what you can do is to add a little bit of subtitles here and there. You know, when it comes to a circle like this, this is when your subtitles or titles should appear. Somewhere, GG, font, size, and then when it's gonna disappear. Uh, yeah, the, the, the subtitles disappear as well. So it's something like that. Yeah, and you can <laughs> I'm add another subtitles here. And if you find this uh, transition to be useful, please hit the like button. And that's the end of today's video. Hope you guys really enjoy this. And bye bye.